Although Tesla's solar and battery storage deployment numbers are on the rise and energy revenue is increasing from year to year, profit from Tesla's energy business declined to just under 1% in 2020. Let's take a look at the past performance, current trends, and also Tesla's outlook for their energy business and see what we might expect in the near future. I'm Jonathan and welcome to CleanerWatt. Tesla Energy is currently a very small part of Tesla's yearly revenue, somewhere around 6% in 2020, for instance, and Tesla's solar business is still less than half of what it was in 2017. Also, as I talked about in the intro, and as we'll talk about more later on in the video, the profit margin from Tesla's energy business seems to be eroding. Could Tesla Energy post a loss in 2021? In just a minute, we'll dive into all the data and the numbers for solar and battery storage deployments, as well as revenue and profit. But before we do that, I just want to give a brief overview of Tesla's energy business so you'll have a good idea of what the future might hold and what it currently looks like. One of the most exciting products in Tesla's energy division is, of course, the solar roof. According to Tesla's website, their solar roof tiles are three times stronger than standard tiles. And unlike a standard roof, this roof actually helps pay for itself. In the not too distant future, Tesla will offer the solar roof in several different color choices. And according to Tesla's website, it's actually cheaper to install a solar roof than it is to install a premium roof with solar panels. When it comes to my observations around the solar roof business, I believe the margins that Tesla will post once they ramp up their solar roof business will be much higher than what you see with standard solar panels. And there's a huge market opportunity in the United States, for instance, with about 5 million roofs being replaced each year. With the success of Tesla's solar roof, this could lead to a huge trajectory change in Tesla's energy business. In addition to the solar roof, Tesla also sells solar panels. According to their recent investors report, Tesla has somewhat recently made changes and adjusted their strategy in their solar panel business. They have simplified their offering to four basic solar system sizes, and according to them, they offer industry-leading pricing as well. The smallest system they offer is just over four kilowatts, and with the federal tax credit applied, it's just a little bit over $6,000. You can move all the way up to their extra-large system, which is over 16 kilowatts, and also with the federal tax credit applied here in the United States, it comes out to around $24,272. Tesla also offers battery storage options in their Powerwall. Tesla's Powerwall can work whether you have solar or not and can provide a good battery backup for the energy in case of an outage. Each Powerwall stores around 13.5 kilowatt hours of energy and according to Tesla, this can run the average home for around eight hours. Tesla also offers commercial and utility level battery backup systems in their Power Pack and Mega Pack. Tesla's Power Pack is a fully integrated AC connected energy storage system with everything needed to connect to a building or utility network. This system is designed to be scalable and can go from small commercial applications to larger businesses and even regional utilities. Their newest addition is their Mega Pack, with each Mega Pack having a 3 megawatt hour max energy capacity. Because of the larger capacity, this allows for 10 times faster installation and gigawatt hour scale projects. So now that I've covered the basics of Tesla's energy business, I'd like to now dive into some of the projections and trends, talking about deployments and also revenue, and then we'll dive into profit. And then we'll talk about how I expect Tesla's business to do in the somewhat near future. In November of 2016, Tesla acquired SolarCity for a cost of around $2.6 billion. In 2017, Tesla deployed around 522 megawatts of solar. That number dropped to 326 in 2018, and then all the way down to 173 in 2019. Tesla explained this drop as, quote, solar megawatts deployed declined as volumes continue to be impacted by our decision to close certain sales channels earlier this year and to focus on projects with better margins. In 2020, however, Tesla finally posted some growth in their solar deployment, posting an 18.5% growth year over year. 
As to what we can expect in 2021, according to Tesla's Q4 2020 investor letter quote, in 2020, solar deployments increased to 205 megawatts, 18% more than the prior year. The growth is a result of meaningful improvements to our solar retrofit strategy, including product simplification, cost reduction, and industry-leading pricing. We have also made great progress growing our solar roof deployments as we have expanded the team while simultaneously improving our installation efficiency. So because of Tesla's lowered cost and industry leading pricing and some of the improvements they've made, I believe we could see a very similar increase in deployments for 2021. And I believe it's very possible that we could see a 20% growth for 2021 solar deployments, and that could go up to around 246 megawatts. Now, I think it's really important that we note that Tesla doesn't seem to be focusing very much on solar panels. They got to keep that business running and they have dropped their pricing and done some changes to make it more efficient. However, as Tesla mentioned in a statement, the solar business is a very low margin product and Tesla wants to focus on higher margin products like energy storage and also their solar roof. When it comes to Tesla's storage business, this business has seen an increase, a steady increase over the last several years. In 2017, Tesla deployed around 358 megawatt hours of battery storage. That number went up to 1.04 gigawatt hours in 2018, 1.65 gigawatt hours in 2019, and in 2020, they saw an 83% year over year growth and they deployed around 3.02 gigawatt hours of battery storage. As for what 2021 might look like, here's what Tesla mentioned about their battery storage business in the Q4 2020 investor letter. Our energy storage business continues to be supply constrained as backlog remains strong. We are looking to increase capacity both on the manufacturing equipment side as well as supply chain side to allow us to continue to grow at a similar pace again in 2021. So since Tesla has posted for a similar growth rate, I think it's very reasonable that we could see a 100% growth year over year from 2020 to 2021. And I believe it's very possible that Tesla could deploy over six gigawatt hours of battery storage in 2021. So with this deployment data in mind, let's now move over to revenue and then we'll move into profit as well. In 2017, Tesla had around $1.12 billion of energy revenue. That number went up to 1.55 billion in 2018, dropped slightly to 1.53 billion in 2019. And then they saw a 30% growth year over year from 2019 to 2020, where they posted just over $1.99 billion of energy revenue. Based on Tesla's projections, mentioning that they should see their battery storage division increase at a good rate in 2021, and the fact that they have really good pricing for their solar panels and the solar roof is beginning to ramp up, I believe Tesla could possibly see a 50% growth in revenues or more in 2021 for their energy business and could be somewhere around $2.99 billion of energy revenue in 2021. Now, increasing revenues and increasing deployments, that's all great, but we need to look at a more important number right now, and that's profit margin. In 2017, Tesla's energy division posted a gross profit of around 21.7%. In 2018, that number dropped to around 12.2%. In 2019, that number stayed pretty flat at around 12.4%. However, in 2020, their gross profit from their energy division dropped all the way down to just under 1%. Now, of course, less than 1% profit is quite a drop from where they were in past years, especially when Tesla is profitable right now. However, their energy business appears to be going the wrong direction. Will this continue for Tesla's future or is Tesla about to post a huge change in this particular category? When it comes to the reason why Tesla's energy division margins were so low in 2020, I think part of that comes down to solar panel competition. Because of this competition, Tesla recently had to adjust their strategy and implement cost reductions, and now, as they describe, allowing them to have industry-leading pricing. These price decreases that Tesla had to make to their solar panel costs in order to be more competitive most likely have had a negative impact on their margins. Also, Tesla is currently developing the solar roof and ramping up production for that. And like any new product, the profit margins are either very low or negative as you ramp up production and make new product improvements. 
Tesla is still working out all the details in their solar roof. However, they are making good progress and new exciting things are on the near horizon. In just a minute, we'll talk a little bit more about Tesla's solar roof and some of the improvements that we've seen recently and where Tesla is with that progress. However, before we do that, I just want to look once again at profit, but more on a quarterly trend level and see where Tesla is trending quarterly when it comes to profit. As you can see on this chart, Tesla's energy business for the first three quarters of 2020 posted a profit. However, Q4 of 2020 was when Tesla's energy business took the biggest hit, posting a $35 million loss in that quarter. So obviously, if you look at these numbers alone, this would make you think that 2021 is going to be a pretty bad year when it comes to profit for Tesla's energy division. However, I believe there are some things, like we mentioned earlier, that could change that trajectory this year. The first of those is Tesla's solar roof, which we're going to dive into, and also their increased battery storage deployments. Tesla is currently installing version 3 of the solar roof, and according to this Clean Technica article, quote, with this new third iteration of the solar roof, Tesla has increased the energy density, cut the cost, increased the manufacturability, and decreased the installation time. Also, as this Tesla Roddy article points out, Tesla appears closer to releasing the Tuscan and Slate tiles for their solar roof because of some recent Tesla patents that were found. On top of all that, this Tesla Roddy article shows a picture of a different color of Tesla's solar roof being installed, showing that Tesla is working with different colors and different variants for future release. So as you can see, Tesla appears to be making great progress with the solar roof, and they have been signing up a lot more roofing contractors, and that business seems to be going the right direction. Now, when it comes to battery storage, while solar panels are a very low margin product, battery storage appears to have a lot more margin potential. Also, Tesla's storage deployment should have a strong 2021, which could help Tesla's profit margins in a huge way. When you go on Tesla's website, the cost of one power wall without installation, the gateway, etc., is right around $7,500. If you consider the cost per kilowatt hour, knowing that the battery capacity of a power wall is around 13.5 kilowatt hours, that means Tesla is selling the power wall at a cost per kilowatt hour of capacity of around $555. When you keep in mind that Tesla's current battery price is probably somewhere around $100 per kilowatt hour, and that number could decrease to around $50 per kilowatt hour sometime in the next four to five years, this shows just how much profit potential could be built in to Tesla's power walls and also their mega pack and power pack. So in conclusion, while I don't expect 2021 to be a breakout year for Tesla Energy, I do see their solar roof improvements and increased battery storage deployments potentially bringing profit margin levels back to more normal levels. And while I can't predict the future, in 2022 onwards, we could see a serious increase in solar roof installations. And also around that time, we should start to see Tesla increase their battery supply, thanks to Tesla's 4680 batteries, to a level that could open up more batteries for more battery storage cells. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button because that helps other people find the video as well. I also here at the end of the video want to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.